Hey everybody, it's Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from the Hive here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And we're going to be doing a swap card showcase with you guys featuring products from the spring mini catalog made into beautiful cards. Tigger is here with us. Um, he's keeping me, um, or I should say, he's going to keep us entertained, hopefully. Um, yeah, so we're live, Tigger. How's it feel? I'm going to be on camera. <laughs> so, you guys, the, sh the, the, the shopping spree board is here. Just to show you, we started the next one, and I have uh, maybe two, four, six, eight names, nine names on it already. So, just you guys, I wanted to put that out there that... That may be the last board. I'm not quite sure. Just depends on who wants to get stuff yet through me. <laughs> so um, we're definitely going to be doing another drawing, though. So that's awesome. Okay, so what do I have for you guys? I've been meaning to do this probably for over a month. <laughs> Just another thing I get to cross off the list this week. Yay, hi, Jeannie Parker. Um, hi, Penny Powell. Uh, hey, take Everybody says Hi. He's making his rounds around the counter. Uh, he just woke up from a uh, winter's nap. And so uh, I brought him out here. I took him down, um, got him some food and all the necessities. And now he's out here with me and uh, hopefully going to keep us company while we do the showcase. Hi, Linda Hall. Um, yes. So you guys, this has been on my docket or I should say on my list. Yeah, docket for, for a while now. And I just needed to get her done, right? Let's get her done. So there's the customer swap. And there's also, I have the Winter Creative Escape that we had last month. Hi, Donna Grushke. Um, and we have, I have some cards to share with you from the swapping from that. And also the Dazzling Demonstrator swap group that I'm in. So, you guys, this is where you need to learn how to take the screenshots on your phone. Oh, my gosh. He is like, there he is. He went all the way behind there. I'm sure he did some dusting for me, you guys. I'm sure he's going to have a little bit of stuff on his whiskers <laughs> they're looking for the dust my um the dust mice right <laughs> the dust bunnies um <laughs> oh yeah hi linda caster so you guys need to learn how to do the screenshot thing um if you miss it you can always go back and watch the replay of this video once i end it hi mary schreiber um oh yep donna says don't forget to hit the thumbs up you guys that is awesome to hit the thumbs up for us as well um so I'm going to be rocking and rolling through these pretty quick. I have about an hour, you guys, because I still got to get to the post office before they close because I've got a little bag of mail that needs to go out today. Um, we've, my mom was in this afternoon. We put cards together, and we worked on... <laughs> yep. He thinks he just owns the place, right? He like is the he rules the roost, is what I would say. So let me um, got to make accommodations for the kitten, you guys, right? You got to move things and let him walk through, and yep, make his way everywhere. So okay, all right. Yes, mom was in today. We got stuff. Um, we got. I'm so excited, you guys. Another thing on my list is um, anniversary cards. I always send out my team their anniversary cards when they've been on the team for a year, two years, three years, five years. I have somebody on the team for six years already, you guys. It's so awesome. Hi, Feline Mays. And uh, I, with you guys know, if you've been following me since um, the holidays, it has been a blur of everything. And I ran out. If I ran out, then I can't send cards. And so I had to make them. <laughs> so we made 32 um, anniversary cards, finished them today. Yay. So now that they're made, my plan is to stay on track for, I got January and February to send out, but I'll be on track for March and then hopefully April or, you know, January is the biggest month. I probably had 20 anniversaries and it's awesome. I'm not complaining at all. I'm just saying that I need to have cards made. And uh, we finished making new team member cards as well today because I ran out of those. And so it's great and all fine and dandy until you don't have cards, right? It's easy just to send them out. But if they're not made and you got to stop what you're doing to make them, and then it's like, okay. So, yay. So, you guys, crossing things off the list. Tigger, no. <laughs> I have a plant that looks like that one. And he, it's over on the counter over here. And he is obsessed with wanting to eat the little fine things out of it, like the, the foliage things. So, oh, yes. Okay. So, you guys, knocking things off the list slowly but surely. The other thing I had on the list today was... I went into every question of the guessing game that I did at the end of the year, and I put the answer, and I also put who the winner was. So, yay, I had been meaning to get that done. It was on the list. I know we did the whole review video of all the answers and had the winners declared, but not everybody watches that video, right? So, I put it into the question as well. So, yeah, you guys crossing things off, making lists and checking it twice. All right, so you guys... 
get your pen and paper ready too because if you really like a card make notes on it so that you know what minute you're at so that you can always go back to the video to take the screenshot that might help as well so um, I, have a, I have three boxes to get through you guys <laughs> so we're gonna start going all right so this is what i'm referring to hi deb norman this is the spring mini catalog we're also gonna be showing cards from celebration sad face it's almost done celebration ends on tuesday 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 so if there's anything that you see from here that you could earn for free on any of the cards then make sure you get it by tuesday i know that we're already out of the dainty delight paper here this dainty delight one the pretty pretty flower one um that one is out. So I think everything else is pretty much there that I'm aware of. So I'm not going to even reference the catalog, you guys. I'm going to show you cards. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you, though, these are the swap cards that came in from my customer swap group. A swap, if anybody doesn't know, is let's say there's 10 people in a group. All 10 people make each their own card 10 times, and then they swap it. So they end up with their card back plus nine other ones. Okay, that's how I do the swap groups. Um, you always get one of your own back. It just makes it easier to coordinate. So this one's from Feline. Uh, so my customer swap is different than all this over here. All this over here is uh, some uh, current Stampin' Up! products only. This, what for the customer swap, not all my customers want to do... Um, they don't always want to do just Stampin' Up! So we leave this open, that it's a combination of Stampin' Up! and non-Stampin' Up! And the, the rules are in the... Um, the actual swap group, if you join it, I have a Facebook group for it. Um, she included a card for me. Thank you for continuing to encourage and inspire us. It's from Feline. And it's the Purplicious Beelicious card, you guys. I love it, Feline. And it's uh, like a, you know, I did this style of a card with the fitting florets class. And I, I guess I was referring to it as an easel. But to me, it's also like a step card. Um, it's super pretty, Feline. I love it. So she made me a little B card, and then on top of it, she decorated the envelope. So um, so a card like this, I will probably not give to somebody. I'm actually going to put it on display here in the hive, <laughs> you guys. That's what I do. It's, um, it's so purplicious. It's like I have a hard time setting cards up. But if I ever would need one, then I have it. Look how she put the rhinestones on there. A pretty little tag on the back is awesome. Love it, Feline. So that was from Feline Mays. This one is from Carol Alanis. So you guys, this is the January customer swap. And so Carol Alanis always does a calendar card. Uh, so what happens is the cards that I get for hosting, I donate them to um, different, we, we have a whole list here of different places we were looking at donating them to. We have a, quite the assortment right now. Uh, so this is Carol Alanis' um, uh, calendar card. And it sets up very nice. And it says you make each season of life even more beautiful. And she's got a pretty little bow and tags on it. This is the Fancy Floral product. So this card actually goes to somebody that we don't know yet because it will get donated on further. Uh, so the one thing that when you do the customer swap, and I noticed this one doesn't have an envelope, but um, for the one, one card that you make always goes for the donation. And then what you do is you include a white envelope. And then we take these off because they just get no donated to like the Lutheran home, to the Villa Loretta, um, the senior center, the ARC. There's different places that um, will get these cards and they'll use them however they need to use them to cheer up people. So this one is from Miss Cindy Bowie and she did the friendly gnomes on here. So that one's from Cindy. So I'm going to, as I show them to you, I'm going to get them ready for the donation pile. So this one is from Carol Alanis for the donation. And you guys already saw that one. It was this one. So the, the sweet thing about Carol is she's always made an extra one to give to me, knowing that I don't get to keep, I don't keep the cards. I donate them all. So it's awesome because Carol makes an extra card that I get to keep and, and use. All right. So this one is from Elaine Rebeck. And oh man, you guys, that was the wonderful world, I think, from Celebration. All things grow with love and the scallop. Do, 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 no, this was stitched so sweetly dies, I think. And the um, background looks like um, it was from Perfect Plants, like not mosaic, but it was um, the one that went this way. And it's hard to see it um, if I go like that. It, it was the one that was the Perfect Plants from the annual catalog. I know the stamps that I'm, dies carried over, but it was a sweet last year. And so. Um, happy anniversary. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of it. I usually can remember things like that, but that one is escaping me. All right. I can't remember everything all the time, you guys. Uh, this one is from Miss Deborah Butt, and she is in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. 
Oh, it's pretty. So the theme for this one was anniversary. So she used some of the fitting florets in here. Very pretty. This background paper is gorgeous too. I wonder if I left Elaine's name back here. I sure did. Okay. So this one is from Deborah. Very pretty anniversary card. And um, do, do, do. so no envelope. That's okay. So this is from Miss Kathy Jackson. Wedding cards made by Kathy Jackson. Jackson. Sentiments are from Peaceful Moments stamp set. Um, and so that is this one right here from Kathy Jackson from Iola, Wisconsin. So that was from Peaceful Moments. And this one to me looks like Mosaic Madness embossing folder here. And lots of pretty die cuts and some, some gemsies on there. So very pretty Kathy Jackson. Hi, Polly Libby. There's that one. <laughs> yes, Deb. I saw Deb's comment. I've been busy. Yes, I... I have been a busy bee the last week and a half, two weeks, you guys. A crazy busy bee. Just trying to knock things out of the ballpark, right? <laughs> so, um, hi, Karen Wettstein. Okay, right, I'm going to save that. This one is from Miss Diane Rungy. Uh, she's in Fort Echo by Beaver Dam. <laughs> I don't remember the name of the city. <laughs> like an hour from me. Not even. <laughs> so this is from Diane. Uh, she used some of that country bouquet designer series paper or like the country floral from the new spring mini catalog. Super cool. Oh, cool. I didn't even know that. Look at this. You guys. And wait for it. Oh, Meals on Wheels. I should write that down on here. So we, we, we're we trying to brainstorm here, but we'll add Meals on Wheels to see if that could possibly be another place that we send them to. <laughs> okay. So you guys ready for it? Here it is. Super cool. So all that is is putting a strip of paper that's scored, you know, at probably like two, four, six inches, something like that would be my guess. And then um, adding, ah, this would be a great fun folds card. Whew, okay, I like the idea of doing something like this for a fun folds card, you guys, because you can decorate the outside however you want, but it's the inside that looks so cool. I love it. Okay, all right, <laughs> Diane, I'm saving this for the moment until I have a moment to copy it. And then you guys, you saw Feline's card. Oh, here, this is, yeah. So this is Feline's card, um, and it was the bee. So she made me another one, too. So both Carol and Feline made me uh, cards um, extra. So I love it. Thank you so much for doing that, ladies. All right, so then this one, and she decorated the envelope. So pretty. All right, and then there's one more here, and this one comes to us. It's Anna Rebidoux. Perfect, you guys. Anna's the one that one of my helpers that helps me do all the die cutting. It was a, So I think it was Valentine's Day cards. Um, anniversary cards. So love is in the air is the theme. And so this is what Anna came up with. So very pretty. I love that. That ribbon was from the whimsy, the whimsical trees last like two years ago, I think already. So I love it. Looks like some magenta madness. All right. So you guys, that is what I have for the customer swap. I'm going to move these out. We're going to save that over there. These guys got to go on a different pile because I got to remember these are mine to use. All right, for the moment. All right, so that, and this is from Carol for me. Awesome. All right, so that takes care of that little pile, you guys. Now, just to show you, hi, Kathleen Anderson. Just to show you, we had a winner creative escape. And one of, I had these cards here. Diane Bogenhagen did um, a presentation on using the new masks that are in that mini catalog. There are masks back here. I don't know where they are in the inside of the catalog, but towards the back here, they show them they're on page 62. There's some masks here and they are pretty cool. They layer up. And so Diane did a whole presentation on the winter crave escape. If anybody still wants virtual access where you don't want the goodie bag, well, it's too late to get the goodie bag in the box, right? But I opened it up to include people into my Winter Creative Escape with a virtual access, meaning you can see all the pictures of all the swap cards photographed by Kelly, who's pretty much a professional. And she has all this, the displays. Every like individual project was photographed. You have access to like nine creative presentations, which is pretty awesome. And the tutorial for the nine cards that were part of the make and take. So you guys, that was still an option. It, it'll stay out there. If anybody ever wants access to it, it's $45 and just reach out to me. I had like five people that took advantage of that. So that was pretty cool. So one of the presentations was by Diane Bogenhagen and she made these cards and showed how to use the layering masks 
uh, to do these cards. And here she added some of these dragonfly trinkets, which are super pretty. So just so you guys can see what you could do with the masks. Uh, those are some card ideas for you. In, in, case, in this case, she added like the paste over the top. She colored the paste, the, the glimmery paste, and she added color to it before she put it over. So hi, Carmen Sanders. All right, so you guys, that was one of the creative presentations. Um, one of the other creative presentations, which I don't have it here, but Julie Bierschbach showed us how to make one of these exploding boxes um, using um, stuff out of the spring mini catalog. So this opens up. And so she went through and like there's a photograph of all the measurements for it um, in the, the in the Facebook group as well. So that was one of the creative presentations as well. This one came from Pamela Leahy. This was a gift to me. Um, all right. So that's that. Now, you guys, I don't know. I haven't even looked at all these cards yet. I'll be honest with you. So we're going to rock and roll through them and I'm going to talk to them to the best of my ability. So... In the Winter and Creative Escape, there were six groups for the categories. One of them was a Tyler inspired, <clears throat> excuse me, Tyler inspired swap. <laughs> what does it mean that it's Tyler inspired? So this was the category, <laughs> Tyler inspired. Tyler inspired. He likes Nate. Tyler's my boyfriend for anybody that doesn't know. He loves nature. He loves outdoorsy greens and browns and no glitter and who he doesn't even care about embellishments. It's just a more manly man card, right? So we, we knocked his socks off and there were a bunch of people that participated in this swap. And to throw him off, I actually made a card, which I generally don't because I'm so busy, but I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make a card because it's a Tyler inspired swap. And so, um, and then he gave his little grades to um, people. And so this was my card that I used, uh, some, enjoy the journey, um, the designer series paper, and the tent, and the trees are from Grassy Grove. The moon came from, I can't remember at the moment, <laughs> um, but the flame comes from the delicate desert. And then I actually went out and I went foraging in the woods. No, actually in the back corner where my shrub is. And my, <laughs> I even found actually pieces of wood. And I secured them down. I broke them into teeny tiny pieces and I made a little bonfire. So you guys, that was my card <laughs> for Tyler. Um, Tyler inspired swap. And I got like a honorable mention. I don't know um, if he thought it was my card, but I didn't take first place actually. And that is quite all right. So we're actually going to leave. So that's the little gold leaf he gave me. Um, so let's see here. Sil okay, so bronze went to Miss um, Linda Zaleski. She used the Day at the Farm paper and she made a wow card. Look at this. Okay, so this is going to be in the way. So, okay, so this was Linda Zaleski. She took third place. I'm going to take the number off of here because I don't need it anymore. And it goes like that. Boom! Got milk. <laughs> All right. So, there's a certain, this would be a, a nice, this would be a gourmet fun fold card. It's not so crazy either. It's just using pencil marks to figure out where to score it. But when you open that up, it, it opens so cool and it, it was awesome. And Tyler, what got him on this one is the chicken. The chi He loves chicken. So that's what got him on this one were all the chickens. And so this was Linda Zaleski took third place. She got the bronze star. And then silver went to Miss Carissa Alberts. She got second place with this awesome Nate, um, outdoor traveling card. Every day with you is another adventure. And it opens like this and it opens like that. You guys might recognize this as the mystery card layout from December. So it, it's that way, but put into a horizontal frame of mind, which is super cool. All right. So that one was that stamp set with the big world on it. Hi, Amy Ponce. If you guys don't know what to do with that world stamp set, here is an idea for you using that metal plate um, embossing folder. Super cool. All right, so that was second place. First place went to Miss Diane Bogenhagen with this card right here. And Tyler's like, that's me. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. So he's got, you know, we got the moon on here, the enjoy the journey, a tent. And so Diane knocked it out of the ballpark with this one. So Diane got first place. She won a um, 12 pack of beer from uh, her one of her favorite breweries, Alaskan Amber. Um, that's the inside. So uh, um, Diane took first place. So very, very cool, Diane. All right, 
So those were the top four cards. And then there were more. And so this is the rest of what we've got for the Tyler inspired category. So Tyler actually did his voting, but then the fans also voted and um, meaning those people participating. And this card, actually my card took first place. I was so excited. My card took first place. And then these two, I think were the next ones. So awesome. Very, very cool. You guys, it was a lot of fun. You guys, we, we really enjoy bringing Tyler into the creativity, the creativity side of it. So all right, um, now I don't have names on the rest of these only because they got taken off because we did not want Tyler to know who made them, right? So I do know and if you're watching or like if you're watching the replay and you're like, hey, that's mine, just make sure you say like, hey, mine is the one with, um, I think, okay, so if I'm not mistaken, this is Tam, oh man, let me look at these really quick. Um, Susie Stocks is this one, I think. If I'm not mistaken, and I don't know, Deb Norman, if you're watching, I think that if I had to say it, this one was Susie's, and then Jennifer Merle Hampshire's is this one, and oh, I see, we took the names off because um, we didn't want Tyler to be biased. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, oh, I'm not even going to try to guess these all. Oh, at, like the day after I remembered, but today I don't remember. It's been too long. <laughs> So, but I will say that um, I, I'm going to start with this one. And I believe this is Anna Rebidoux because she did this sunburst. And I remember Anna talking about this. So another way or use of the, that watercolor world stamp and then using the compass from He's the Man and then the sunburst out the back. And so the world is better because of you. Um, super cool. All right. So I'm pretty sure that's Anna Rebidoux. Tammy Sikolik. If I had to guess which one was Tammy's, I think Tammy's was this one. I think she had the like the motorcycle, if I'm not mistaken. And it says, you are legendary. So this is from the Legendary Ride suite of products. Got a couple tires on here. Now I'm pretty sure. That one rings a bell for that one. And then, oh, happy day was Jennifer Merle Hampshire. And she used the raindrops, keep falling on my head. <laughs> and... Let's see what the inside looks like. She's got one of the that cutout actually got put on the inside. So that's from the playing in the rain. Oh, then this is Susie's. Perfect. So this is Susie Stocks. And she used the by the bay. And she's got the little pearl on the inside. I love it. And it flips out like this. You guys, I actually contemplated. I'm like, I think this would not be too crazy of a fun fold. Um, the hard part for me would be if I have like 96 of them. Like the scoring is not crazy, right? It's the cutting down the middle. But if you guys would all be up for, I don't mind scoring. If you guys are all up for cutting your own line from that score line to that score line, this would be a super cool fun fold. So I'm going to keep this one in my arsenal as long as I get some confirmations that, yep, you guys could do your own cutting in the middle. And like in person here, um, I will have my cutter out and people can help. But I think this one would be a cool fun fold. So Susie, I was going to keep this one <laughs> outside the, the comfort zone here. Like keep it on my pile of a potential fun fold cards. Um, this one I think is Bonnie's. So Bonnie was in here too. And I remember her having the sea turtles. So Bonnie Lesperance, I think this is hers. And so that, that's the sea turtles. So she stamped them in the background. And it's got some little shells on here. Sherry Everett was in here as well. And if I guess, um, I, I think Sherry Everett, if you watch, you might have one of these. And Tracy Sorge has one of them. And I feel like I'm not sure who is this. Who's, I love this layout too. When you do a card like this, this is enjoy the ride and then, or enjoy the journey designer paper. And then this is one of the, there's a stamp set that's in the catalog that has words. Uh, they cut the words out and pop them up and put them, oh, they forgot to take the dimensional back off here. I'm like, why is that wiggly? You guys, <laughs> oh, Donna says, yes, you can cut your own. Yay, look at this, you guys. The dimensional back was still off, uh, or on, I should say. So we got that off of there now. That's funny. See, <laughs> you don't remember all of it all the time, right? So the road ahead of you may be, may the road ahead of you be brighter than the one behind lined with wildflowers and covered in sunshine. So it's a perfect, and having that little icon on here is super cool. I love that the designer paper is being able to be seen on the front and the back. And she made it a five and a quarter by four, so you still get um, six mats out of a sheet. So, so cool. Um, so there's that. And then here was another Enjoy the Journey, um, a tag, awesome, embossed with that timber embossing folder. 
That's the farm paper, you guys. The day at the farm. That's the background. That was from the fun folds that we did last night. All right. And then here's one more. And this was from Delicate Desert. And we got a little cac um, succulent in there. So, all right. So there we go. So that was the Tyler-inspired swap. Okay. Let's move these on out of here. Now that I'm doing the showcase, you guys, now I can get these up on the board. <laughs> I have three boards that I display all the swap cards on, and now I'll be able to do that, get them up. So this one is the shoebox swap. So one night during the event, um, we get together, those that want to do more stamping, and uh, they do a shoebox swap where they bring their supplies and their kits, and then if you're in it, then you make the cards. So this is, I believe, Carla Reels. She had playing in the rain. And it opens up like that. It is a gatefold. And it says spring is everywhere with a little belly band on it. And then this one is Miss Carol Lee Crab. And she has, oh, it's one of these guys. I love these kind of cards. So this was our Fun Folds Holiday Edition. We did a card just like this layout. Not the products, right, but the layout where it's like on a little tongle, dongle, toggle, whatever. So this is the Fiam Regency Park suite of products. And then this one is from Miss Melanie Hao from Tennessee. She came up, you guys. She drove all the way up from Tennessee to be with us and using the Friendly Gnomes. Um, Shoebox Swap could use either Celebration product or Spring Mini Catalog um, and always can um, annual catalog product if you want. Christina Heiser did this one. So it's like a vertical book card where she's got the book binding up here and then it opens up like that and it says Happy Valentine's Day using the country bouquet, country floral, <coughs> country bouquet suite of products. All right, and that's Christina's. This one is from Miss Susie Stocks um, from Iowa and she did the Beautifully Happy. Uh, the big flower sample used that last night, you guys, sending happy thoughts with a little white organdy ribbon the stitched rectangles, and then she's got a little flower on the inside flower. This one is um, Gwen, right? Yep, Gwen Petrashek. Yay, you guys, another book card. Uh, she's got the little moon up here. I think that moon comes from the Enjoy the Adventure, now that I think about it, because every time I'm seeing the moon, it's with the Enjoy the Adventure. And here you got a little guy or girl, um, silhouette of a person here walking through the mountains, and she's got really stellar up snow hill you guys if, i think that's stella so gwen if you're watching this at point, some point i'm trying to catch the see you guys if you can see how shimmery that white is it's so shimmery <laughs> um difficult roads bring you to beautiful destinations and i'm so inspired by your courage so that was gwen's this one is may the dreams you hold so this stamp right here goes with it's in the same set as the the other one that i just showed you that we didn't know whose it was. Um, that stamp is in this one with that guy. That stamp is in the same set with that one. In case you guys are wondering. Um, some of the Dry Brush Designer Series paper. Um, the background stamp here with soft succulent. And this is from Miss Carla Basla. Ba it's French, you guys. And so she said it to me twice, but that was two months ago now already. It feels, well, a month and a half. Carla Basilar. Um, and so then she put a little designer series paper on the inside. This one is from Miss Tracy Sort. She did the fancy flora um, dye, the two-tone flora dye on the back and some butterflies uh, from Butterfly Brilliance. And then that oval punch that has a oval and a scalloped oval. And some of that woven metallic thread here in orchid opulence the background looks like hues of happiness actually and a little flower on the inside absolutely loved all the shoebox swaps so fun to participate in too yay i love it um this one is from miss bonnie lesperance she had the sea turtle for her card and used a little stylish shapes and she made a little banner on the end and a big journal on the inside very pretty um bermuda bay coastal cabana so you guys, when you see stuff like this on here, that's Tyler's markings. He's gone and die cut whatever he can <laughs> out of his favorite images in foil paper. And he puts them on cards as his way of saying, I like this card. This one is from Jennifer Merle Hampshire. You guys, this is that thanks a bunch. So I have two cards that I'm going to show you that feature the thanks a bunch stamp set, which is carrots. 
Uh, so Jennifer made them into trees. And this kind of reminds me of something out of a Disney movie. <laughs> These like wonky trees got like this, but it's so cute. It works with it. Um, she's got evening evergreen with soft succulent. Now this is the designer series paper is from Delicate Desert as well. So we'll leave Tyler's little markings on there. This one is from Miss Deb Norman from Iowa. You guys, that window pane check ribbon is, uh, Diane Bogenhagen loves it. It's so pretty. Uh, she's got rich raspberry mixed with some of the purple shimmer, some brass butterflies. This is that beautifully happy stamp set. And look at this fun fold. Now, that's awesome too. So cool. So that would be another one where I could definitely case this step for a fun fold class. And I would score everybody's going the one way and then everybody would be responsible. I'd have everybody cut their own here and here. So that I, cause that's like taking a personal baby trimmer and like, oh, like measuring. It would take me probably an hour and a half to cut 96 of those, I think. And so I'm like, and that would be torture, <laughs> a little bit of torture. Um, all right, Linda Zaleski has the lighting the way card here. It says, thanks for lighting the way. And she's got a little lightning bug with a lantern in the middle here and then a little guy on the inside. So very nice. So that, you guys, is the shoebox swap, which is awesome sauce. All right, next we are going to do case the mini. So what does it mean to case? Casing means copy and share everything. You guys, this isn't like you're in high school or college and you're going to get in trouble for copying somebody's card. Now, like maybe if you say that it's your own design and you copy it 100%, you might get in trouble if the person discovers that. But like if you change things on it and you make it your own, that's cool. And if you make it the exact same way and you say, like I did last night with the fun folds class, I brought in cards to show you like, hey, I didn't come up with this kind of stuff on my own. I looked at this person's card and this person's card and this person's card. And I gave credit to the people, right? It is flattery. Like cop my mom. Always, so like people would copy things of mine, right? And I'm like, people would be like, are you upset that they're copying your stuff? I'm like, no, my mom taught me that copying is the most sincere form of flattery, right? So if somebody copies your work, so be it. Be happy that they were inspired enough to take what you made and make something either identical or they tweaked it to make it their own. Like there's no shame in that in my book. Um, you might find other demonstrators that feel opposite, but I'm like all about sharing is caring unless it's a disease, right? <laughs> so, so the more we can share our creativeness and ideas with other people, that's what this is all about. So the copying and sharing everything, so it's called case the mini swap. Um, I want you to case something from the spring or when I do the fall one, the holiday mini catalog. You take it and you make it your own or you can take it and copy it exactly. I really don't care. Like I just know that people love when they're here in person with me, they love to see physical cards. So it's always nice to have more samples and now I can share them with you guys too um, over this video. So, um, and I, I don't know where, like I can't tell you where in the catalog they like looked at it from. It would be super cool to, here, I, we'll, we'll show you an example. We're gonna look at this one because I feel like we could find that one very easily. So this one is the Ginkgo branch. So let's see if we can find in the catalog where the Ginkgo, I call it the Ginkgo Balboa, Ginkgo branch. Okay, so Ginkgo branch, it's not that card, but the Ginkgo branch is on page 57. Let's just see here if it's on page, oh man, here it is. Okay, so this card is made by Miss Sherry Everett and she is... Um, she even listed them. Case the mini crumb cake, cardstock cane, weave embossing folder, ginkgo branch, brush, bass, brush, butter. I, I always have a hard time. Brushed, brush, butterflies, iridescent rhinestones, white embossing powder, and the fabulous frames dye. Okay, so this was what she looked at, and this is what she made. Isn't that awesome? Like, she went for not having yellow here because that's more work, you guys. I'll be honest with you. That is one thing. And when you, she made it all pink, and she didn't put um, the solid one underneath. And I think it looks awesome the way she made it. I would have done it like this too, but super cool. So that's what it means to case the catalog. Um, look at, you know, you guys, Stampin' Up! provides these catalogs for us. I will cry if Stampin' Up! ever stops making these catalogs. I use these catalogs as a tool or reference um, for me to make more cards, right? So like if, 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 if they ever decide not to make catalogs, you guys, now we're going to need to like uproar. <laughs> but, um, so this is Miss Sherry Everett's for case, casing the catalog. We just went over that, Ginkgo Branch. And then this one is 
Anna Rabadou, white ink and soft pastels on black paper, colored dark blends on fine shimmer, milky dots and open weave ribbon. Oh, cool. That's the beautiful thistle, you guys. Now, that is the background stamp. I gotta look at that, you guys. I gotta see where she looked at in here. Let's just look up beautiful thistle really quick. I think it's right there. It's not that card, but let's see. It is page 60. And it could be somewhere else in the catalog because that background stamp. Let me just see if we can see that background stamp is 28. Okay. She cased that card right there. Do you guys see that? I'm, I'm thinking because I see the label over here. She used flowers like she did or they did. And then the background. Super cool. And you can see that it's like metallic-y. So very cool. Completely different card. You would never have known. But I'm guessing if Anna watches, she can confirm. But I'm pretty sure that's what she did there. Um, that's that purple shimmer and the green shimmer. Oh, it's so cool. And then she colored over the top. Colored dark blends on the fine shimmer just to make it pop even more. Is that not amazing? Love it. Good job, Anna. All right. This one is from Miss Carol Lee Crab. This is the Regency Park or Sentimental Park stuff, um, the, the stamps, Petal Park. And then she used some of that textured um, paper that's in the balmy blue. So that's the shimmer paper that, so you get blue. Oh, that's textured. So it's also shimmery though. So I was confused for a moment, but that's the textured one. This one comes to us from Miss Gwen Petrashek. I want to open it up and see what's inside. Oh, it's glued shut. She's got the opals coming out the edge here. So this is by the bay. Uh, you are a pearl, rare and precious. And she's got some awesome little shells all kind of tucked in here. Very pretty. Love it, Gwen. This one is from Miss Linda Zaleski. She's got playing in the rain here. The guy is definitely getting a rainstorm. It's coming at him. And he's just like, yup, yeah, bring it on, baby. All right. So that one is um, the by the bay on the bottom here. And then also she had the fern embossing folder with that. This one is from Maria Gilbertson. All right, she's in Minnesota. She probably got a pub abundance of snow <laughs> the last couple days. Some of the uh, Night of Navy bordered ribbon with the Regency Park here. So pretty. I love the, like it's Blushing Bride with the Night of Navy. And she, that's some of that textured paper as well, those green leaves. Super cool using um, the Sentimental Park dies. And then a little strip of designer paper on the inside. This one is from Julie Frost, and this one is There's No One Better Than You. And so that's the um, Friendly Gnomes stamp set that um, is uh, matching with the dies. The dies are currently out at the moment, but they'll be coming back in. And then she's got some of the stitched with whimsy dies on the back here and a little stitched rectangle. And I can't remember the name of that embossing folder, but it's got like vines, like, and they go this way and that way, I think. And then on the inside, wishing you the mag most magical of birthdays. So pretty, Julie. And this last one is from Irene Goots. And this one, she's from Princeton, Wisconsin, um, using the framed florets um, stamps. And then the dies coming out here. She put the little heart oval frame on the background and wishing wishes for a beautiful birthday. I love that stamp set, you guys. Or that, that stamp, that, that sentiment in particular is what I was trying to get at. All right, so that's from Irene. All right, so we're making progress, you guys. We've got three groups done, plus the customer swap done. Now, the fun folds here. This was, hi, Becky Schlossnagel. This was the um, biggest group of them all. And that's always fun. There's, let me see. Um, I had a missed call. I was going to see if I can see who it is. Oh, Mary Lemke tried calling. Mary, are you watching? Mm-hmm. <laughs> If you're watching, you can ask me what you need here. Um, hi, Linda Hunt. Hi, um, Pat Williams from Alabama. All right, you guys. So fun folds. Are you ready for these? This is Anna Rabadou. So this is the Taco Fiesta one. And there's a little belly band on here. And it opens up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one's a cool one, too. This would be very easy to do for a fun fold as well. Because you just have these little strips. And they're scored at like a half inch, one inch, you know, something over here. And then they're on two sides. And then you just have like... Your squares, right? To me, this would be an easy, fun fold to do for a class. Like, I got to keep this one in my radar as well. Um, definitely would use whatever on the outside. And then 
whatever you need to on the inside. But this would be a good fun fold. I like that one. So I look for easy fun folds, you guys, for a class. Just because if you're doing 96 times four of them, if you do all hard ones, it's crazy. So this one's super cool. This one is from Diane Rungi. It's that, like, um, we just had Carolee Crab, I think, did one like that, where it's, it, it was our fun folds from the holiday edition. And then it's on that little tongle here. D dongle, tongle, toggle, whatever. It toggles back and forth. Um, Country Bouquet product here. And this one is Delicate Desert. This one is from Miss Tammy DeWitt. And let's see here how this goes. Oh, very cool. So it's got an arm that goes across the top. This would also be another fun one to do for a class. Definitely. So here's using this frame, but not cutting out the inside piece, leaving the frame intact. So cool. I definitely really like, I like the silver <clears throat> aspects with the gray granite on here. Sun, and this is in Boston black. Very pretty card, Tammy. Very, very pretty. I love it. All right, you guys, I haven't looked at all these in great detail, so <laughs> it's time to get out. Uh, Linda Zaleski, this like on point, this reminds, it's like that hits right like that and super cool. It's like an easel card, but a little bit different. And all it is is a book. This is a book card. What she did is she measured in the middle with a pencil at a certain distance up and she just cut off at an angle and then it pops up like that. So and that's the fancy floral product. Another one with Country Bouquet. Um, this one is from Jennifer Morrill Hampshire. Uh, let's see what this one is. Oh, so it's just like the taco card, but bigger. Look at that. Holy designer series paper on the side. A little bit bigger squares, bigger strips, you know. So it's the same concept as the taco card, just a little bit bigger. And not having, not having um, a belly band around it. Very cool. Look what she did with the ribbon, you guys. She tucked the tail behind brought it out with tear and tape and then tied off the end and left it like kind of a little bit frayed and then doesn't, doesn't have it coming. I like the idea with the ribbon and she's got two ribbons going on here. I'll tie that just a little tighter there. All right. Very pretty, Jen. This one is from Maria Gilbertson from Minnesota. Again, she's got that. Te here's the textured paper in the white country bouquet. Oh, very cool. So it opens like this. And this one would be cool too if you would want to put like tear and tape at the bottom here and actually have it shut. You could use it as like a gift card holder or check or whatever you want to have in there for sending money. So very pretty. The Country Bouquet product here. This one's By the Bay. This is Corinne Braxton from Bozeman, Montana. You guys, she flew in for the event. I love it. You guys, this actually... It looks like a wedding ring or a diamond, like a ring that you should have on your finger, the way that the shell is coming out there and it being circled. But by the bay, and it's like a gatefold like that. So very cool. And then she's got the birds across the bottom. That's some of that shimmer paper that comes with the purple and the green. This one is from Tammy Sokolik. And you were there, and I am very grateful. Perfect plans. And when you open it up, it's like that strip of paper across it. And then different pieces to make a very a nice um, array of focal images on the inside. You touched my heart. And that, let's see, let's get that back on here. So that goes there. This one is from Tracy Sorch. And when you open this one, it's by the bay. You open this up and then there is, I feel like there's words down here. I'm trying to figure out Tracy, I'm not sure. I know that if there's, so I feel like you have to untie this. I'm thinking that, yes. And then it goes like that. Thank, thank you for everything. And then there's shells on the inside. And I feel like it's intended to be for a gift card or money. Um, and uh, it's a great way to, you know, have it tucked in there. And then you do, I'm pretty sure that that bow was meant to be untied so that you can tie it. <laughs> so let's see how good my tying skills are here. Okay, so that's back. And that goes like that. All right, so that's by the bay. This one is from Miss Feline Mays from Oregon. It's a little easel. Oh, it's a notepad. Look at that. Very cool. So she's got a little, a pearl in here that's made out of the brush strokes paper that's part of the Sun Prince set. And then she's got I believe it's Sahara sand with some Knight of Navy and some of those adhesive back pearls and a little notepad.
pad. I love it for post-it notes. Very cool, Feline. This one is from Miss Deb Norman, Country Bouquet. Just wanted to say hi. She's got a little nice ensemble down here with the designer series paper. It is Stella up. Oh, you can see that, you guys. Look at that. That is Stella at its finest. You can see the shimmer shimmerinesses. Oh, cool, Deb. All right. I like it. Okay. That, that's definitely a casing as well. Because, you guys, I can score all day. <laughs> so, like, it's one, two, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven score lines. And then that things get glued onto it. But the wow factor is super awesome to have it like that. Oh, it's so cool. And then you can make whatever you want on the inside. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> that's going on that pile because that's I'm definitely a, a casing card for a fun fold. All right. This one, I, oh, name is right here. This is Carla Basilar, and this is playing in the rain as well, and it opens like that, and then she's got a whole little scene on the inside with a little turtle, all colored very nicely, and the little guy with his little rain jacket on the outside. Rainy days are better with you, and I'm guessing this is Lynn. No, Robin Kenton. All right, Robin Kenton. Um, the frog! You guys, we saw the frog last night. Whose card did we look at that had the frog last night? That's from this Prince set, or this, that's the host set. Yes, at the pond. Okay, whatever, who remembers who was watching last night? And I thought, I got a card. Oh, I got um, a card, a Happy Mail card from, oh man, one moment, when I got it in my head. Naomi Worrell. Naomi Worrell gave me a card, and I thought, oh, that frog was from the past. Well, the frog is from At the Pond. It's the host set, you guys. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Who's is this? Robin Kenton. Oh, Robin, this is awesome. Isn't this so bright and cheerful, too? Oh, happy day. And then the frog comes out, and he's sticking out his tongue. He's on a little, like, uh, folded back. Okay, so there's a... Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I love it. I think that could be it. Well, well, yeah. That's just this piece back here and then a piece in the front. And then you have to have that piece back there for dissecting. I have to dissect that. But yes, okay. That's super cool too. That one is definitely, like this one's awesome. This one's too, an easy fun fold class. You guys, I have so many ideas for fun folds. It's not even funny. <laughs> we almost have to add in another fun fold class, I think. All right, and I know you guys would say yes. <laughs> All right, so now we have the celebration swap. So celebration goes through uh, February 28th. And so Kindness Matters comes from that beautifully happy set. This one is from Miss Anna Rebidoux using petal pink. And then she's got, um, oh, she stamped a flower on the back. She's got a little pocket card. Um, some of the Dandy Designs Designer Series paper, some brushed brass butterflies. And, oh, you guys, this is the one where we did it with the farm back in January. When you pull the string, this opens up. And so this designer paper is all one piece that is folded up. So that was the fun folds from Kellogg Launch Party. Um, it's called a Z-fold. Yes, <laughs> there are so many different ways to do Z-folds. But what I loved about that last one, though, is that it was a wiper card. There was movement. So anytime you have like a strip that makes a Z, to me, those are all Z folds. And there's so many different Z folds. Um, but it was like a Z fold wiper card all in one. This is Maria Gilbertson. And she, oh, she used the carrots here too. I think those are the carrots and she made them into trees and it looks like spring. I love it. And then some of the Dandy Designs paper. She put a little piece of burlap folded up there. This one is from No Name. So I don't can't tell you who it's from using the Dan, Dan, Dainty Designs Designer Series paper and some tailor-made tags. It's okay not to feel okay. A little purple on the inside. Here are the carrots, you guys. Isn't this a pretty carrot card? So this one is from Linda Zaleski. Some pastel pearls. Uh, she made some little banner ends here. Um, Dandy Designs Designer Series paper and these carrots. You guys, I haven't used the carrot set yet. I contemplated using it for the Fun Folds class last night and I never... It never came together as easy for me. So, and I thought the carrots are so specific too. So there's a good idea for you if you have the carrots though. Feeling, um, this is the hap beautifully happy sentiment. Um, some of the Dan Dainty Designs Designer Series paper, the Something Fancy Dyes. And this is um, Cherry Everett. 
and we've got some painted texture, fresh, fresh freesia paper. So, and a little flower action on the inside. And then this one is from Tracy Sorge. She used the adorable owls. Hoot, hoot, you're so cute. Some branches from the Aspen tree dies. The, there's, I don't remember the name of the stamp set at the moment, but that's the die set. <laughs> uh, Time worn type embossing folder. A little tree branch on the inside. This one is from Tammy DeWitt. And look at the circles. That's so cool. She made one, two, three, four different size circles and just layered them like that. Dan, dandy designs. And then the thanks embossing folder. Very pretty card, Tammy. The thank you card. This is from Dawn Funk using the Dainty Delight products. Well, you guys, this is the same fold. I love it. This is a fold, you guys, we're going to do for Petal Park, for Regency Park. So that's the same layout. So definitely awesome. Okay. More. Oh, I think this is Deb. No, Linda Hall. Oh, maybe Deb into it. So Deb, you had given me a card to it. I thought it had Dan Dainty Delight on it. But this is Linda Hall. I think this was Linda Hall, if you're watching. I think this was your first swap that you've ever done. Uh, she used deckled rectangles. I love that she cut that designer series paper out with the deckled rectangle. It fits in there perfectly. And she used some of the metallic woven ribbon that is in Sweet Sorbet. Oh, it is. I, I never used that one. Sweet Sorbet. Um, I very rarely should. I, I, I should say I very rarely, rarely, very rarely use it. Starry Night with rich razzle berries. Really pretty. And then, oh, she double matted the strip on the inside. Look at that. Very cool. Very nice, Linda. This last one is Carolee Crab. Same designer paper, and she's got a little owl oh, flying on the inside. She used that cane weave embossing folder. And hoot, hoot, you're so cute. So you guys, if you're seeing the insides of these cards completed, maybe only one or two haven't stamped their insides, and I need to... to talk to them. Um, the rule is you complete your inside. You either have to have a sentiment. Um, sorry, the sentiment's optional, but you need to have a focal image or you need to have a strip of paper. So the biggest thing that I dislike is getting swap cards and I have to glue insides in or stamp insides. I want a card that's ready to go so that I don't have to do hours of work prepping the card. So if you've been noticing that, that's if you do do attend the Autumn Creative Escape and you participate in the swaps, they're done. Did you see that? The insides have something in them. Like this one might not have a sentiment here, but I could easily just stamp happy birthday on the inside and that one's done. Um, in Little Flowers, I could stamp, a, you know, I'd, but I wouldn't need to because the sentiment on the outside. So just a note that if you do swapping with me, any swaps that I do, um, regardless if it's the customer swap, the team swap, the dazzling demonstrator swap, or my event swapping for the escapes, insides are always required. And if it's white, fine, stamp on white. But otherwise, you have to put a mat on the inside, regardless of if it's a light color or a dark color. So like, look at this one, you guys. There's, um, well, this one's a different kind of story because it's like, there's a lot of layers going on. But um like that one too, just you guys. So that's, you can see. So you guys, you know, the cards I make, like the cards we make for class are kind of like what I expect for when we swap. All right, so then we have here the holiday swap. And this one is, it was like, what are we in? Valentine's Day, we could add St. Patty's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter. So, or, yep, Mother's Day. So this one is from um, Brenda, no. Tammy DeWitt, and she cased it from Bren Brenda Quintana. So, you guys, that's where we call out casing it. So, she tells us, oh, I cased it from Brenda Quintana. Cool. That's awesome. And I'm sure she changed it up a little bit. And so, it opens like that. You are every bit of wonderful. And she embossed that in gold. Look at that. So pretty. So pretty. So, this is the Fancy Floral product. It's a great mother. Wouldn't you love to get that for Mother's Day, you guys? <laughs> it's a great Mother's Day card. Um I made cards like Linda's for the team swap. Okay, so Deb Norman, that's exactly why I thought that it was your card, but it was the team swap. Easter from Alicia Markford. Woohoo, look at the Easter bunny. I love it with a little fol foliage around its neck, embossed um, white on here. And I'm th thinking that, look at that, a little strip of designer series paper on the inside. Very bright, cheerful colors using country floral designer paper. And here's an Easter card too. Look at the little bunnies. 
and um oh the name is right here melanie how so you guys you can still get the stamp set at the moment but the punch is out of stock i'm coming back sometime in may i think um some rainy day designer paper and some grass some happy easter with some of those um gems on there very cool melanie she colored all the bunnies and this one is linda zaleski she did a valentine's day card using the friendly gnomes so you guys the friendly gnomes class is coming up in april um it is my um, order-based class that I'm going to be doing quarterly. So once a quarter, I'm going to be doing an order-based class, kind of like the soft seedlings class. And so Friendly Gnomes is going to, is the stamp set that we have for that one. Another Easter card here using some pastel pearls and Easter treat for you using some Regency Park designer paper and an Easter card from Mary Bowman. Very pretty. Uh, Oh, I like, so I haven't used that particular die yet from the framed florets. I did not use it for the class that we did. <laughs> I love it though. It's really cool. It cuts out these hearts in the shape of an oval. This is Tracy Sorge. I love that we are friends. Happy Valentine's Day. That burlap ribbon, you guys, that burlap ribbon came back in stock. It was out from the middle of January. It just came back in the last three days. So I got my stock now. I needed like three packs of it for the legendary ride class that I have coming up. So I was able to get it so that I'm not out in case it goes out again. Um, so that was a pretty Valentine's Day card. Another Easter card. I love it. This one is from Carla Basilar. And oh, she put the little butterfly on the bunny's nose. Isn't that cute? And then the playing in the rain designer paper. Little strip of designer paper on the inside. Happy Easter. And lastly, we have here, Sarah Simon did a Valentine's Day card. Oh, I like it. Super cool. So she's got that diamond in the exact same spot where this one is, so that when you shut it, um, it goes right over the top of it. So very cool. Awesome. 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 Okay. So that's the holiday swap. So, <laughs> all right. So we made it through all of them, you guys. And... That was just the winter creative escape, <laughs> okay? So um, I still have two more. I'm going to put these all in a box so that they all are together. I can now put these up on my boards. Um, and let's take that and this. And we're going to put these right here. So that's that. So these are all winter creative escape cards. I always save these for the next time so now I can put these away. Um, so this is really, I have all of this left. Oh, here are the rest of those names for the Tyler inspired. Let's see. The names are on the side here. Linda's, we had Linda, we had Anna. Carla Basilar had one of those cards. I didn't even know these were on the side here. I mean, I probably did, but I don't remember. Diane Bogenhagen, we knew which one was Diane's. <laughs> yep, so that really didn't help. Oh, Maria. Maria Gilbertson was in one of those Tyler-inspired swaps. I don't remember which one was Maria's, though. Oh, and Sherry Everett. She was in one. She had Garden Green, um, tailor-made tags, The Greatest Journey. So that one was um, Sherry Everett's. Okay, so this one's a good post-it note. So I'm going to keep that. So I'm good. Or stick this on the side. Okay. Oh, so no, that actually goes in the other box. Um, so, all right. This is what we got, guys. <laughs> we might do a two-part session <laughs> because... I still have this to do, uh, and I haven't even, like, we just did one box, basically. This is two boxes. <laughs> um, so, I'm thinking that it's in my best interest to probably go to the post office <laughs> before they close, because I have about 10 packages that need to get out, that I want to get them out today. I could probably wait till tomorrow, but I think that I should probably get them dropped off because they're they're open till six. So I think what we're going to do is retitle this one as part one. <laughs> After I get off of here, I'll, I'll retitle it part one. I'll add that on the back end. So then you guys know the difference. And then when I get back from the post office, I'll find out what time Tyler's done with work. And if Tyler's not done with work for another hour and a half or so, I will come back and we'll do the other one. If Tyler is going to be home and sooner rather than I won't have enough time to do the next one, I will find another time in the next couple of days. And then people were also asking for the showcase video for the March cards. And so I'm planning to do that on Monday. So 
just so you guys know, I have a little timeline of things. I still need to sneak in the wreath, um, that, that wreath kit too. So I still got lots of things, you guys, lots of videos for you guys. So, all right. I think that's what we'll do for now is sign off and we'll rename this part one and then we'll do a part two later. So, um, I know you guys don't mind. <laughs> and you guys, if you're wondering where Tigger is and why he's so quiet, I just looked over and I think I see him. And Tigger, Tigger, baby. It's really hard to see him, but he is right there sleeping on the chair. It's really hard to see him, but he is, he's tucked down in there and he like pretty much you guys might have no you can't see him jump in there but he probably jumped in there right at the beginning of when we started and he has been sleeping like a little baby <laughs> this entire time so um <laughs> that was okay with me <laughs> but all right you guys um i'm so happy we could get through that for now um and i look forward to seeing you guys the next time so lots of sun sunshine love and hugs until i see you guys the next time i'm gonna count to five and then i'll end it just in case it ends before i'm done so one, two, three, four.